Since I got my hands on it, Valve has updated the Steam Deck a lot of times. I just put out a video the other day about them adding a new feature that I'd been asking for back since, I think, February, uh, and that was security. If you haven't seen that video, make sure that you check it out. There's a link in the description down below. But this update, I say this knowing full well that I could sound hyperbolic, is Valve's most important update to the Steam Deck yet. This update is all about the refresh rate of the Steam Deck. And before I get into how the update actually works, I wanna say that it is on the beta channel. While I'm talking about this, I will show you how to get to the beta channel on Steam Deck using B-roll. But I wanna warn everybody that updating to the beta channel could cause problems. It could come with bugs. Now, I personally have not run into any bugs on the beta channel yet, but that doesn't mean that they don't exist. That's what beta channels are for. They are there so that you can help Valve make their software better before they push it to what they call the stable channel. If it turns out you don't want to stay on the beta channel anymore, you can always just reverse everything that you did and it'll take you right back to the stable channel and everything will be Hunky dory. So now we're on the beta channel. What is the update and how does it work? Well, basically it allows you, the end user, to decide the refresh rate of your screen. And somebody might hear me say that and think, well, if I just limit my frame rate using game scope, doesn't that accomplish the same thing? No, not really. Here's why. And if I get any of this wrong, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. My understanding is that your game has what is called the frame rate. The frame rate is how many times per second is the game going to send a new picture to the screen. 60 frames per second sends 60 pictures to the screen per second. Refresh rate is how often does your screen update an image. And most of the time that's going to be 60 frames per second. I'm completely surrounded by 60 frame per second screens with the exception of my phone and my iPad, those both have 120 uh, hertz displays. Well, everything's fine and good if your game can maintain 60 frames per second on a 60 frames per second screen. And a lot of games on Steam Deck can, but of course not every game can, and so what do we do? Well, up until now what we would do is we would use GameScope to limit the uh, frame rate of the game down to 30 frames per second. Why would we pick 30 frames per second? Well, because if you divide 60 by two, you get 30. So we end up just seeing every frame twice. It's important that your refresh rate is divisible by your frame rate because that gives you the best possible experience. Now there's a lot of games out there that will run at more than 30 frames per second, but they won't hit that 60 frames per second. And the sweet spot between those two is 40 frames per second. This new update allows you to change the refresh rate of the screen on the Steam Deck down to 40 frames per second. And then you can set your frame rate using GameScope to 40 frames per second as well, giving you a much smoother frame rate and much shorter frame times. Frame time being how long does it take to generate the next frame. The smoother the frame times, the smoother the frame rate, the more predictable the gameplay is going to be, and the, the smoother the game will feel. Is it better to have 60 frames per second instead of 40 frames per second? Absolutely. So I'm not going to turn this feature on for every single game, but games that struggle to hit uh, 60 frames per second but can easily maintain 40 frames per second, drop everything down to 40 frames per second, and then you are golden. And if you're playing a game that's like a card game or something that updates really slowly, like it doesn't update the screen a whole bunch, then what I would recommend that you do is either set the refresh rate of the display to 60, lower the frame rate down to 15 because 60 divided by four is 15, or limit the refresh rate of the screen to 40 and then limit the frame rate of the game down to 20. Now of those two options, I think, and I would said think, that you would probably be better off limiting your refresh rate down to that 40 uh, frames per second and then dropping your frame rate down to 20 frames per second for two reasons. Number one, it will feel smoother than 15 frames per second. And number two, I think it'll burn less battery because 
let's say that you leave your refresh rate at 60 frames per second, but then you limit the game to 15 frames per second. Well, like I said before, that just means that you're going to see every frame of the game four times. And that means that your, your system is probably doing more work than it would if it only has to show you every frame twice. So limiting your refresh rate down to that 40 and then the, re, the frame rate of the game down to 20, yeah, you see every frame twice, it's smoother, and you're probably using less battery. What Valve is doing with Framescope? Framescope? Gamescope? Although Framescope sounds like a cool thing. What Valve is doing with Gamescope uh, is awesome because it's letting us, the end user, be able to have more control over our device than any other handheld in, I could be wrong, but any other handheld that's currently out there. Of course, my experience is limited to this and the Nintendo Switch and a couple of portable emulator things, but we have so much control with Gamescope that we otherwise wouldn't have. And the fact that Valve is putting this software out to any hardware manufacturer that wants to use it is incredibly promising because they are iterating on it so fast and making it better all the time. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this. I know that there's other changes that are in this update, but I'm not going to go into those right now. If you want to hear more about that stuff, let me know in the comment section down below or at me on Twitter. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Stay awesome, everybody. Bye-bye.